Okay, we just got a nice 10 piece with like a pretty scumbag uh, llama, leech, camel, koala <laughs> team. Seemed pretty, uh, pretty strong. And uh, this looks like a pretty good starting team, if I'm gonna be honest. We got a molt shot here, shot this from the trumpet. Like, this seems pretty damn. Oh, I guess I have to put you in the back, because if I don't, then the dog will spawn. So, yeah. Do it like this. Fussy. Handbags. Plump. Bubbles. Plump. Handbag. Fussy. Handbags. Something, something. Girl, partner, or whatever gives you purse. Oh, get the thing out of the purse, and somehow every man on the planet is incapable of finding whatever was in the purse that she was looking for. We still somehow lost. You'll have a 10 piece with honey mustard sauce, please. Uh, sir, this is not a Wendy's. I'm gonna be honest, I don't actually know, uh, what would. would I, I don't know what you get at a Wendy's. <laughs> I don't actually know. Uh, okay, this is the way. That way you get two shots. Nope, you still have to have this in the back. Give me juggets, nuggets. Okay, hold on, hold on. We gotta catch... We were talking about cross-country at the end of the, the last video because I had forgot to talk about it earlier. <laughs> I mainly talked about the D1 race stuff but um i want to talk about more of the uh, there are some if you've never been to a cross-country race there are some fun aspects even as a spectator because it takes place over a range let's say and so hmm I don't know if I want to do this or not. Because I have to leave an extra spot open, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, Here's what I will say, I guess. Oh, I do this. Maybe that makes him trade with somebody. Don't really care about any of that. I mean, I could take something and then just, like, groundhog. Because we only need one now. I guess that's fair. Get a random lizard out there, kid. Um... It's a weird looking team. Uh, for the spectators, you kind of have to run from one place to the next. Like all the runners come by and then you as a spectator will just like not see them again unless you move elsewhere. <laughs> so you just have to run to the next like turn or whatever where you will see them because it's not a track. So in one of the, the videos or one of the the broadcast of the race it was funny because they had a drone shot and you could just see like runners would pass and you could see the crowd peel off of like the the lane as soon as they passed and everyone just starts running and it just it looked pretty funny to me not funny but it's like uh, i remember those times um the other funny thing about a cross-country race is at the end of a cross-country race everyone is it's like dead bodies piling up. It's, <laughs> it's, it is just chaos. Um, because everyone's very tired. So they just finish a race. So they have the camera at the end of the race and all of these, these young warriors out there finishing their race. We're not finding anything here that we were looking for. This is a, this is a little dangerous. We could have done a Yak Koala team. We probably should have, but I didn't want to. Um, they finish, and some percentage of them are able to kind of like walk slash mosey their way forward, even though they're extremely tired. A different percentage of them are... They finish, and they kind of hand on knees stand. And then there's another percentage that finish and just plop to the ground and that sounds reasonable they just finish running whatever it is for the men 10k the women 6k but the problem is there is an insanely large group of people <laughs> coming in from behind them sp sprinting as fast as they can as well so you can't just let these bodies sit right at the finish line <laughs> you will cause that will be a big problem so, 
what you need to do instead is uh yes i'm taking this because it showed up early um what you need to do instead is have a bunch of volunteers that are there and they <laughs> are basically there just to move bodies <laughs> A lot of the time it'll be like hand under the armpit of someone and kind of lead them away when they're standing and and mostly that but then the ones that are on the ground like it all has to be relatively large guys and they just like pick up these bodies that are just like fucking limp and just like you gotta move you gotta move it's comical to watch it's comical to watch Highly recommend. Uh, I I don't like anything I'm seeing. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'm not liking any of it. So the, the, there are toys. There's the two early toys, then nothing, and then the dang mongoose. Again, I've been avoiding the croissant in case we get a husky, but it does feel like it is. So you know what this would be a good opportunity for, actually, is an owl. The problem is, I have, if I get rid of this, I gotta get rid of this. If I get rid of this, I'm missing the level opportunity. I'm gonna wait a turn. Okay. That helps me make my decision. Could even do the guinea fowl too, but... What of elemental? Um, so yeah, the, the cross country, it was, it was fun to watch the cross country races. Almost a really good garlic. It was obviously still good, but it would have been a lot more useful had it been... Oh, you shot the thing. It would have been more useful if, um... What was I just saying? How am I forgetting everything I'm saying, man? I think I gotta do this now. Okay. I'm tempted to double... I think I double llama this turn. For now. And then we just run it like this. I was hoping for a different thing, but I guess I do this for more attack. Even it out a little bit. 6-6. Six, six. I don't know if that was a good idea. Might have been just worth rolling one, but... Um, yeah, cross country, it was nice to reminisce a bit. Uh, I don't... I don't know if I would have lived even without that being there, but... Oh, we win! Level 2 lizard, let's go! Okay. So, so how does this work again? Is this a, just a cheapened apple now? Okay. I don't love that, but okay. I'm not against trying some lizard action. Seems not bad. I, I'll even do this for another garlic, if I'm gonna be honest. Like, maybe we just do- maybe, maybe this is a scumbag week. I just go full scumbag. Now, why do I say scumbag? I don't know. It just feels like it's automatic, not a lot of effort. Same with the hurt combos, but at the same time, you do got to put it together. So, I don't know. I don't know what to think. I think... I'm buying this. I think I'm buying this. <laughs> if there was a llama, I might have leveled it immediately, but we did not see it. So, this is what we're doing. Okay, useful garlic on this lizard, maybe? Okay, never mind. They are a huge spawn team. How did you do that? Wait, how was there two moles there? Did I miss something? Oh, because the mole spawns a mole. All right, that's pretty cute. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I guess in a sense it is a free apple because I sell the mouse for a gold and then I get the apple, but I have to leave a slot open, so it's not nothing. This could work with Lizard a little bit, maybe, but it's the Lizard needs more health before that happens, which is why I was buffing it. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Ugh, okay. Alright. Great. Not even any food to buy there. Okay. No, uh, it's not. That's not good. <laughs> that was not a good turn. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. They're me, but better. They're literally me, but better. 
Except I have a lizard. They're me, but better in the future, to be fair. Patriots game was today. Just kidding, it was a bye week. There was no Patriots game. Thank God I didn't have to torture myself watching that shit. Uh, so that was, you know, it was nice I didn't have that. What was also nice is that yesterday, uh, I guess, still would rather just have, like, a husky. <laughs> probably. Probably would just still rather have a husky. Um, was that I got to do a Magic the Gathering uh, sort of pre-release at home with the, my friend. So that was nice. Opened, opened a Cavern of Souls for the MTG heads out there. Sell this. Buff the lizard, buff everybody. Mm, no, thank you. Yes, you're better than a salad. I guess this and then just salad. We're just taking our stats as we can get them. Um, so that was nice. It was it was fun time. Also got to have some amazing pizza. That didn't. That wasn't too shabby either. Is that gonna work? Oh, I guess it does, because it does the... Mm. <laughs> Wait a second, you're giving me a lot of... Give me a lot of lizards there. That's, that worked out. Even having the empty slot made that work out, too. It, it, you know what also has worked out? Buffing the lizard with all these apples every time. I think I would still rather roll. Okay. So, it's still worse than a husky, to be fair. This is plus one, plus two. So it is better to have, hold on. So it's either one, one, and one, two, or one, one, and one, one with another husky. So it's better to just still have one husky in there. Okay. Is there any reason I would do anything else if I press the roll button right now? Yeah, if I roll the mongoose, I would buy that and sell that first. Okay, I did not. I still would buy this and sell this and get a garlic. That's still better. And then just that in there. Is it crazy to put the lizard ahead because it has the garlic here? That might be bad. I'm going to trust where my lizard has been. That's what I'm going to go with. <clears throat> lizard would have worked pretty decently, but wouldn't have this also worked pretty decently, to be fair. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh, what else did we do? So on stream-wise, which I haven't really been talking about, we, I, and then people were there, finished uh, Mario Wonder. So that was wonderful. Get it? Get it? Haha. -ha. Um, so that was cool. Great game. A lovely game. Hmm... If these things were closer to 50-50, then it's like, okay, maybe you throw the thing on, but I think we're, we're keeping those slots open a little longer. I think I would rather... Yeah, poodles are just worse. Carrot the husky is what I was looking for. Carrot the husky is what I was looking for. Also, I do like that... Ooh, good garlic... Good time for a garlic. Okay, maybe not good enough. <laughs> Double turkey does kind of go crazy, but... Oh, it's not big enough of a lizard. Not big enough of a lizard. Alright, Jeff. Nice run. Nice one. Nice one. We need... Not that. We need... Yeah, alright. I was I was I was hoping for more like the mongoose instead, but uh, would I rather buy a canned food or roll? I think it makes more sense to roll. 
I will take that, I guess. Uh, yeah. I mean... Oh, I guess I should have moved the... Well, that one llama, the llama slot, because of the garlic there. Uh... Maybe? Oh, it didn't trade. I think that might have been the difference maker, actually. Okay, never mind. It would not have been the difference maker. <laughs> But, well, maybe, because this, well, I don't know. I think that thing would have got one more attack off or something. It, I think it would have changed something along the lines, but, okay. I would still rather get a mongoose than buy the sushi. But I would rather buy the sushi than get the lizard half of a level higher or whatever. Hmm, I don't think we're going to get there. We're gonna be close, but I don't know if we're gonna get there. If we got one of these llamas to level two a little earlier, then maybe? Well, this is gonna live the first attack. They do have a ton of spawn stuff, though. The one garlic is not enough, is what I'm seeing. This lizard needed to be level three as well. <laughs> to the, the lizard damage was so bad those last three games if it was level 3 and it had that, whatever it was, 10 attack or something, then it would have been able to trade with those units that pop out. Rough. Okay. Lesson learned. I, got, I, I was a scumbag. Double lamming. I don't know if I've ever won when I double lamed. I don't think I have. Ugh. I hate that. That, that, that feels terrible. Mm, running others. That's what I was watching people do. I was running others, watching others run this morning, watching D3. I watched D3 and the D1 races. They're pretty good. They're pretty good races. Races, not racist. All right. Fix your ears. All right. Relax. Um, on a different note. Okay. That's not bad. On a different note, the, uh, I'm waiting. There will be a time where someone watching one of the, the YouTube videos. Oh, uh, we draw? We lose. Sick. When someone watching the, one of the YouTube videos will then come to the stream on Sunday past 8 p.m. EST when we stream the new weekly and they will say hi. It's gonna happen one day. Just wait. Mm. I mean, this is useless. These are useful. I guess this would... Uh, it works once per turn. Damn. Works one per turn and doesn't give the attack anymore. It works like flying fish ox kind of works if there's a thing that spawns, I guess. I'll take this because this is more interesting. Between these two, though. Tougher call. Tougher call between those two. Um, this is, I don't know. There's some interesting things you can do with this, I guess, maybe. I don't think I'm trying to get the ladybug to level 3. I'm not really even trying to get that to level 2. Probably getting rid of that next turn. Uh, so it's gonna... They're gonna shoot a thing with the tamarind guy. Fair enough. But... We lose. If, the, if this was behind, we would've won that game. Would've won that game. Okay. Garlic. None of that really does anything for me. That also does nothing. The beginning of this weekly is so uh, all over the place to me. Because there's like strawberry stuff and hurt trigger and spawn. And sometimes it feels like it's hard to get it all together. That said... We have a fly fish, so I feel like I gotta take the lizard. And then roll for 
Really, there's not much to roll for because these are level threes. But I'm not like these are probably going soon too. All right, all right, all right, all right. We gotta hope for the best. I'm I have I'm not interested in this ladybug at all, which is why I have not bought perks. But maybe I should have instead of rolling there. Okay, that's pretty good. Get rid of the armor. We spawn a thing. Son of a bitch. <laughs> if I had the Ogs in the back again, we would have, I think, won? At least it would have been close. Okay, this is what we want to do. I want to do a Prey Mantis run. I like the sound of that. Okay. Which probably means I don't want to do a Flying Fish run. But it is good with that right now. This does have to kill somebody. So... I guess... This is going here? <laughs> and it'll kill the moth? Or it'll kill the ox? Would I rather have the moth or the ox? I don't know. Uh, killing that doesn't do anything. The good news is that we would be able to kill blobfish when they show up. I don't really know what I'm looking for, to be honest. Wait, when does this happen now? Is it the beginning of the turn? Is that what it- oh, well then I'm glad I kept the moth, I guess. The garlic is not particularly useful, but... Yes, let's go! Is it the beginning of the turn? It is the beginning of the turn, okay, okay. Great. Faint, remove two nearest friendly perks to summon one mole. I mean... No, because then if that happened, then it would remove it, and then... I don't know. It's conf I don't want to think about it. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. It's too confusing. Uh, This is weird. I have to buy something, but... I don't really want to kill either of those. I guess I don't really want to kill much of any of these, huh? Alright, this is all useless. Uh, knock out adjacent friends. Well, <clears throat> that's something. There's less things to, to pray mantis than I imagined there would be. Okay, so, uh, two garlics is pretty good, it turns out. I think we're just gonna be way slower for scaling than everybody else um this might be the time to put, do it like this to help level him faster rather than try to level the lizard granted i don't really care about this ox so but like there is the whole like if i leveled it that would be pretty good but meh i guess i don't know i don't know none of this seems i'm floundering i'm floundering ah we want to do that <laughs> We want to do that badly. We could get a guaranteed level next turn. No, wait, no, we can't. Yes, we could. We move this to the front, blobfish to the flying fish, etc., etc. But I think we want to get the prey mantis up faster, and we're probably getting rid of the flying fish. We're also probably getting rid of the ox. I want revenge for the for the lizard, though. I do want revenge for the lizard. Lizard could go well here, kind of. Uh, okay, maybe not as good as I thought, but not terrible. Okay, no, it's pretty terrible. No, no, it's pretty terrible. Okay. Half leveled? Sure. I'm going to put a unit here and put a banana on it so that we get a monkey. Okay, that's great. Okay. The team is changing. <laughs> You're gone. I should have just given it the banana. I thought I had, a, for some reason, in my brain, I was like, I have enough gold to do all of these things. Yep, we're probably gonna lose this round because of that, but I think that's what we're doing. I think that's what we're doing. Okay, I mean, if we 
We really need to draw this run, which we're not going to. What? We are going to draw. We're going to win this one. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Huge. We have three wins. This is huge. Okay. Monkey. Yes. Level. Also way better than that. Coconut. Um. Shark? Lizard. <laughs> Lizard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. If we had extra gold, we could have done the monkey thing again. But this is going to be a pretty big guy up here. They got a secretary bird. And why is the turtle behind the... Oh, because it buffs the unit in front. All right, that makes sense, actually. Did this, didn't the secretary bird used to give the buff randomly, or was it always to the thing in front? Or did it just randomly hit the one in front and I got both things wrong? Okay. Two bananas doesn't really... Oh, it kind of does make sense, actually. But I need something to give the banana to. That would be... Like, ideally, it would be... Ooh, can't really buy that, because it replaces the shop. So we can do that next turn. I also realize I don't have enough money to do both, which was also a fairly large error. <laughs> so I guess I do the guinea fowl, and then next turn I have to be not stupid. Okay. Alright, mistakes were made again a little bit, <laughs> but I also kind of have an easy mode team, I feel like. Weakness? Okay. There's not really a lot of snipes going on, which is good for this shark. It's very unlikely to get sniped. In most situations, so that's nice. Okay. That dies. Uh, yes. Thank you for that. And then this, and then yes. And then friend faints, resummon it as a one. Okay. Probably not worth spending the three gold to give the mantis 2.1, 2.333 level, but that's a pretty wide scaling team with a couple of big guys in front, too. Okay. More blobfish would be good, but I do also understand that uh, kind of kind of messing things up by having everything here. I think we are committing to this, and next turn we'll buy a, a cow. So let's get this on you, I guess. Sure. E yes. I'm feeling pretty confident. <laughs> I have a 4341. Seems pretty strong. The other thing I like about a team like this on a week like this is mostly just that the mongoose existing means that, um, like, there's having four slots is really nice because you can just always buy and sell stuff. Like a mongoose. I'm actually going to feed that guy. I guess you are bigger than the mongoose. So I guess you do the mongoose first. Coconut. Then you do that. Then you do this. Buff the lizard. Buff the lizard. Sell this. Freeze this. Roll once. Uh... Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, I guess like this. Because you can't really do the thing where the mantis is in the front anymore. Okay. I'll just do it like this. And then these two will be, this will be here. Because I was going to say like, oh, I could do this. And then that way it'll level the thing. Or I guess it'd rather be like this. But 
I just there's a shark there already, so it doesn't act it's not needed. Now the awkward thing here is that we kinda have to keep the mantis in the front. Which is definitely a little awkward. They have a similar team but me, but they look a little bit bigger. They are bigger. By a smidge. So yeah, the monkey is not all that useful <laughs> is the issue here. Because I, unless I move this to the back, but then that means I have to move the shark to the back. But then now we're just not, this isn't doing anything. Um, and it's not like I can go here and put something there and like, oh, it'll just kill the guy to the right. Because no, it'll kill both guys that are there so not not exactly great not e not exactly great but that's pretty good though at least it gives the monkey something um and we don't do this now yes for next turn need a melon for the mantis I'm almost considering just killing the monkey. Just because it can't really be used. They have a spawn team and a shark, and it's a level 2. But, my guy is big enough. Okay. Although I did just give monkey the, the spear thing. And maybe I should give that to the shark, but... Because I literally just said, oh, maybe I should just kill the monkey. <laughs> but, speed this up. Do this and get another coconut. Sell. Roll. Mm, none of that really does anything. I don't understand how that works. That's, I'll, I'll try that next turn, I guess. Friend gain perk. Give it a thing. Uh, move the two nearest perks. Create a blah, blah, blah. That doesn't really well. Uh, no, it doesn't work because it, it, I would it would get rid of that. And I don't want that. I don't. I don't know what you want from me. I guess I don't even knock out adjacent friends. I'm too scared to see if I leave that slot empty that it would like fuck some shit up. I don't know, so I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what. That, I don't know how that's gonna work. Mm, Peanut does not work on coconut, but it does trade with the second unit, and you have your guy in the back. I think we got enough in the tank to kill, but we'll probably trade. Yes. Level 2 Peanut definitely, uh, definitely makes a difference. Alright, we're gonna try you up there. Mmm, none of that really does anything, question mark? So I guess just do this. Still, still, am I crazy? Have I not seen a melon for this mantis? Granted, I, I have been giving it coconuts, I guess, but... gonna be a very useful coconut i will say that this looks like a team i can beat oh it gave the monkey a coconut well that's how that works oh i would much rather have put that on like other units <laughs> i would much rather have put that on the see i i couldn't re I, I couldn't figure out how that thing works when i was reading it but okay i guess why not I suppose if one turn, if I want some shots, I can do some shots, I suppose. Okay, I will do it then. I will do this, and I will do this. Because we got no coconut anyway, so... Might as well. I'm gonna move this order like this now. Shark. I mean, we're gonna have two basically 50-50s. Shark will be 50-50 by the time it gets to him. Mm. Shoot his... I would have liked if the, the Cobra shot the uh, other thing first, but I think we could potentially still win this. 
No, we're gonna draw. Okay. All right. All right. Draw. The monkey has been useless for a long time. I do understand that. Don't worry about it. Totally not needed or anything. Uh, I'm willing to throw a turtle out there. Snapping turtle, specifically. Mm, you can... I mean, this could use a melon, but if we don't get anything, a tomato's not that bad. I think we do this, though, to start. None of that, thank you. And now that's worse, so I should have frozen the sushi. Cow, yes. Not necessary, but okay. Sure, saves me value, I guess. That's also not necessary. I mean, this could be- we got two health! We got two health! We can make this happen. Uh, oh man, you got a lot of levels. Oh, did you get, just get to keep spawning blobfish with that? That's gross. Oh my god, I just got a triple kill with that? Hold on. No, you jerk! Okay, but my lizard is gonna have that triple damage now, so you wouldn't have those those melons. So you better watch yourself. Lizard is coming, even though the lizard is not big enough at all, but... Well, if the shark's big, it doesn't need to be in the back. So now we can buff the lizard in the front. Yeah? Yeah? I mean, the shark can literally just be in the front now. Um, you could argue you want it somewhere back here because shots happen and then yada yada yada, but Dang, um Is it crazy to have the monkey up front? Is that crazy? Might be crazy We'll see Melon armor would have been nice. Seeing another mongoose at any time in the past, like four turns, would have also been nice. You don't have much melon armor. You shot my melon armor in the back. I don't appreciate that as much. Well, we got very unlucky, I would say, on that one. <sighs> that one feels like it should have been a win. The, uh... Literally, the turn I changed the order, where the melon would have helped and such. That one hurts. That one hurts. But at the same time, I can. I'm, I'm basically considering that uh, I did a mantis shark run, and I don't really care. I don't need to. I don't feel the need to have to do one again. So, only thing I haven't really done, I guess, is a spawn team, which is fine. I'll think about whether I end up doing another run or not, but. Well, we'll see. There's definitely a lot of funky things going on here. I think the beginning of the game is the most chaotic in terms of trying to find your lane, but, well, you know, best of luck.